Hi guys, this is Nomadic Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Spiral the Dragon Retro Series. And we are off to a new world. Thank you, Spiral, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the Beastmaker's world if you're ready. I'm so ready. The Beastmaker's world is not my favorite, but... It's really funny. The animals here are like... crazy looking chickens. I thought some of them like hopped on one leg. All right, what are we looking at? 302 dragons. But yeah, Beastmaker's world is like dark. Dark, swampy. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought there was a level. I mean, a lot of it is separated by swamp. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. He is so sad. I think when when I when I heard that, you know, <clears throat> I'm just like, how could a swamp be beautiful? All right, 302. Ooh, not a fan of those pigs. All right. So there should be no reason to head back to that first area, but see, it's 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 an area where it's easy to get lost because it's but I have a feeling I think I'm I'm just I'm gonna get lost anyway. Ooh, those trees. Tree tops. Oh boy. Ah, there you are. Hidden midst the roots. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. <laughs> Found the storehouse.
Oh, you jerk. I knew you were there. Oh, you jerk. Go die. Oh, that pissed me off. It's like, I just have no patience. No freaking patience. None. Not after that, that last uh, level wild flight. Just a lot of chickens around, which is good. It's really annoyed. Really annoyed. Alright, there we go. Back on track. And I think this is. The last area? I would gladly take that one up, thank you. Depending upon, you know, how long it takes me, I really do think do think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explore the hub world like and that's it I have. I really, really have missed this game so much. Just in general. And I'm very excited for the Reignited Trilogy. And, you know, from it, I only hope that more Spyro games come out. I'm not really a fan of like Spyro, uh, what do you call it? Well, at least it wasn't in the swamp. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of like Spyro, um, Crash Bandicoot, uh, crossovers. I wasn't really a fan of those crossover type games. Oh, okay. You know, I just love Spyro being in his own game, in his own series. And, uh, you know, those games I feel are the best, or the original trilogy is the best. You know, let's, let's not, let's not assume otherwise, you know. His best games, are the original, uh, the original trilogies. Trilogy. Hmm. Uh, huh. Alright, that 
slides out. Hmm. Isn't there a way to get to the top? How many? Oh, 248, okay. Alright, can I make that? We're gonna see. Yeah. Some of the flying, sometimes they really do ask you. Ooh. That's another thing you can do. Um, if you feel like you're almost gonna be running short, on, on a jump, like charge. If you press charge, he'll surge forward a little bit. All right, is that enough? Is that enough? Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. I think on the other side of this is the beginning. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, Terrace, Terrace Village, right? Right, right, right. Is this correct? I want to say yes. Yeah. Alright, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do the, the level, even though I really love doing the hub world and then a level, or, you know, and then going on to do two, and then the last two for, you know, but... That wizard's peak! I, I just... That took a lot out of me, so... Um... Spire of the Dragon. Uh, I, I do. I absolutely love it. It's so fun to play. So if you enjoyed, click that like button, subscribe for more Spire of the Dragon retro series, and I will see you next time. Bye. Your chains, we.